Yeah. Uh, Tyler is a guy I don't believe you faced him before. What were your approach uh, against a guy you hadn't seen, I had no history with? Um, just trying to get a strike. Um, just trying to get a pitch, you know, up in the zone and you know, putting a good swing on it. Um, you know, uh, I was able to felt behind him count. I was able to like you know see a couple pitches and start feeling more comfortable with him as the bat went on. So like you're trying to search for your swing for most of this home set. What sort of work today, or did you find anything before the game? Um, <laughs> yeah, we um you know very early grinded on some stuff. Um, you know really trying to feel my connection on the front side and you know it worked so. Just keep doing it. See what tomorrow brings. Does a ten kicks like that right out of the shoot sort of lock in in any way? Maybe. Um, definitely makes you feel more comfortable because uh, you know, like you got to see all the switches, uh, see what he's just trying to get you out, and I don't know, just one of those things where when you get along with that, you definitely want it early like that. When you hit two and three innings like that, were you having some flashbacks of 2017? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. <laughs> What have you sort of thought of? <laughs> what yeah, have you sort of thought definitely. about your start? I mean, just some swing and miss, some power. You know, what have you thought overall just about how you sort of fit up the plate? Inconsistent. Um, that's pretty much you know, one word I can summarize it with. Um, I'm not usually that inconsistent, or have how I have been. Um, I take pride in you know being a complete hitter, and being a consistent hitter. You know, I've taken pride in that my whole career. So it's something that. Um, Knowing me and anyone that knows me knows that I'm not going to settle for that. I'm going to, you know, bust my butt and do everything I got to do to be the player I want I can be. You, you watched Clayton all these years from the other side. Now being on the field with him, what did you think? You know, what he did today and reaching 200. He's a, you know, he's, he's an animal. He's a beast. He comes out every time. And seeing him, um, I played a lot of great players, a lot of great pitchers. Um, Definitely, you know, with the time I've been here, he's one of the hardest workers I've ever come across. Um, you know, you know, he's out there every day. He's in the gym. He's doing his program. He, he knows his routine. He knows his body. He knows how to get it ready for every fifth start. And you know, it's very easy for a guy like that in his career to kind of just, you know, lay back and you know take it easy and you know finish off his career with you know whatever. And he doesn't. Look at it that way, and I respect the hell out of it. Honestly, uh, I'm the same way. I have you at the same way. Uh, we get to do this for a limited amount of time, and he gives it his best every fifth day. You, you say you played with a lot of great pitchers. Are they different? Is he different than some of the other great ones in any particular way? I mean, like I said, he's you know one of the hardest workers that I've been around. I've only been with him for a month now, so it's kind of hard to. You know, put the ties together just just yet. Did you get the sense he was a little uncomfortable being celebrated after the game? Um, honestly, I didn't see him right away. I didn't see his reaction, so I can't even answer that. But it makes sense. Um, you know, he feels like he's a quiet guy and he just goes out there and does his thing. Thank you. Nice I guess. Job.